President Uhuru Kenyatta officially opened the 25th International Conference on Population and Development. The conference brought together over 100 countries, dozens of international organizations, over 200 civil society groups, and a number of leaders from the private sector with a view of advancing people's rights to achieve prosperous and resilient societies. It is during this important convention that President Uhuru Kenyatta emphasized the need to advance women's rights, their choices, and their well-being. Because our women are the gatekeepers to family health, they exert such a powerful influence on intergenerational outcomes for their children, empowering women essentially empowers all our families. It empowers our societies, it empowers our nations, and it empowers the world. Sentiments echoed by women leaders in attendance. Achieving gender equality and women's empowerment and upholding women's rights is a game changer for poverty reduction, inclusive growth, democratic governance, peace, and justice. We commit to intensify our efforts and investments to lead global efforts to achieve three transformative goals. First, zero preventable maternal deaths. Second, zero unmet need for modern contraceptives. And third, zero violence against women, including child marriage and female genital mutilation. Leaders committing to achieve the targets set in the first ICPD meeting in Cairo in 1994 that sought to enhance sustainable human development in various areas, including matters that border on harmful gender-based practices. I also believe that we can all commit to eliminate violence against women and girls. A woman has a one in three chance of experiencing physical or sexual violence in her lifetime. This is a major gap in our development record as a global community. The Sustainable Development Goals cannot and will not be achieved until women, girls and young people are able to control their bodies and their lives and live a life free from fear and from violence. President Kenyatta acknowledging that there has been significant breakthrough in many key areas, even as he vowed to end FGM by 2022. To complete the unfinished agenda, therefore requires us to develop new partnerships, mobilize political support, increase the level of international and domestic financing, and accelerate implementation of innovative and supportive interventions. Following a declaration made by the East African countries, the president said his administration's priority is to increase budgetary allocations to sectors that guarantee the advancement of the well-being of all Kenyans. Kamchemenza for Channel One News.